ever wondered what would happen if your eyelashes and eyebrows just kept growing and growing? Or what if your teeth kept growing like your fingernails and got longer and longer? And what if you never cut your fingernails for years? Imagine how long that'd get. Well, you know your fingernails and your hair do keep growing for your entire lifetime. But I wonder, which grows faster, your hair or your fingernails? I think my hair grows faster. My hair grows faster. My hair grows faster than my nails. I think my hair. I think my nails grow faster than my hair. I think my nails grow fa faster. I think hair. Hair. I think my hair grows faster. I think my nails. I think my hair grows faster. I think my nails grow faster. I think hair grows faster. Fingernails. I think my hair because it can go real fast and nails only glow when when you don't cut them and I cut them. Hmm, I wonder. Which grows faster? Your hair or your nails? You know, I cut my fingernails quite often, but I hardly cut my hair at all. So maybe my fingernails grow faster. Or maybe it depends on the food that I eat. If I was to eat crunchy carrots and bread crusts, maybe my hair would grow long and curly. Or if I was to drink lots of fresh milk, maybe it would make my fingernails strong like it makes my teeth and bones strong. Hmm. Or maybe I better find out what fingernails and hair are exactly. Good evening, and now for the... Good evening, and here's today's news flash for hair. Coming up on the scalp today is a long fibre of keratin protein. This hair, here. The keratin originated here in the dermis region of the skin and is expected to spread upward into the air here to form a hair here. The keratin grows from a root inside a tiny tube of skin called the follicle. Cells grow at the bottom of each follicle to make the tough keratin and as the keratin forms, the hair grows up from the root and out of the follicle. The hair will look shiny and healthy because each hair has its own oil gland, here at its root, to coat the keratin in a light layer of oil. As the cells reach the skin surface, they die and only the root of the hair is left alive. So the part of your hair that you can see, this hair here, is dead. Yuck! I've got dead protein all over my head. And there are tiny cells growing inside my scalp, pushing that dead hair out. Hmm. Well, let me show you how it's done. You'll have to use your imagination, because this Play-Doh forcer is my scalp. And see these tiny holes here? They're my hair follicles that the hair grows out of. This Play-Doh will be the keratin protein that grows inside the scalp in the hair follicles. It grows and grows and soon there's no room in the hair follicle and it has to come out. So it pushes out through the skin and out through the follicles as hairs. You have about a hundred thousand hairs on your head. And they grow about a centimetre or maybe one and a quarter centimetres a month and they just keep growing and growing. Every few years, they have a bit of a rest. They go on holiday for three months and then they start growing again. And if you never cut your hair, it could grow up to about oh, a metre and a half, 
which means that my hair would grow all the way down to my toes. Unless it fell out first. Adults lose about 100 hairs a day, and normally hair grows back to replace those hairs, but sometimes it doesn't. When it doesn't grow back, you go bald. Luckily for me, women don't usually go bald. So your hair grows about one and a quarter centimetres a month. But have you ever wondered why people's hair grows differently? Well, it all comes down to cheese graters. The kind of hair you have depends on the shape of your hair follicles. So imagine that your scalp is a cheese grater with all sorts of different holes. If your follicles are big and round like these, you will end up with thick, long hair, straight. If your hair follicles are oval, they force your hair to bend and become wavy. And if your hair follicles are flat slits, your hair coils into curls. My hair is like this. I have round follicles, so my hair is straight. So that's the guff on your hair, here. But did you know that your body is covered in hair? There's the thick, stiff hair that's on your head and makes up things like your eyebrows. But your body is covered with a soft, fine, downy hair. In fact, the palms of your hands, your lips, and the soles of your feet oh, <laughs> are the only places that are completely hairless on your body. Imagine if hair like this grew everywhere. So much for hair, what about nails? You know, your fingernails and your toenails aren't too dissimilar from your hair. In fact, they're both made from tough keratin protein, just like your hair. And the longest fingernail ever grown was grown by Shraddhar Chalal, and it was 102.5 centimetres long. A thumbnail that long! I wouldn't be able to play the piano. Mind you, I can't play the piano now. And I will never grow my fingernails this long. I trip over them. Your fingernails grow between 2.6 centimetres and 5 centimetres per year. Fingernails grow about four times faster than toenails, but still quite a lot less than your hair. Your hair grows about 15 centimetres a year, so hair grows the fastest. Did you know if you are right-handed, the nails on your right hand grow faster than the nails on your left hand? And what's more, people's nails grow faster in summer than they do in winter. Hey, why don't you see what amazing information you can find out about your incredible body? Head to my website. I'm at www.suzy.com. Dot co dot nz. You can write to me at Tree Hut Productions, P.O. Box 34307, Birkenhead in Auckland. I see you soon. Imagine if your eyebrows, brows, eyebrows, and now's today's. Shada Chalal, the hair from the phone. <laughs> hey, Mum and Dad, thanks for paying your broadcasting fee.